the festival of the so I'm calling off this, the final day of the college. An organization that supports represents the community, the Scottish College sector. This year, we developed a unique education sector aimed at challenging, provoking, and helping from community and rural that we have education seeking to shift the access of the disposable. So, why are we? Well, college is part of a unique position in Scottish education. It is centre of a way of connecting schools, universities, businesses, communities, and providing vast schemes of lifelong learning and experiences. This festival is permanent as an important economic challenge. The implementation of the curriculum and the new qualifications in Scotland, as well as the regionalisation of the college system. In times of such change, the kind of tendencies to focus inwardly, retreating to the place of safety and finding comfort in the world. The festival provided a golden opportunity to step back and challenge the thinking and assumptions of the whole of the season. How we think about it and talk about it and consider it, how to give it is. What do learners need and want from education? And how do we work with all our partners to ensure we deliver education that supports imagination, creativity, and innovation? Education that's far beyond what we think is possible. So, what were our key objectives? Well, firstly, we wanted to widen the network of organizations and connections so that ultimately we could become more aware of the state of learning opportunities in the wider community and use these connections to enhance Scottish education. Secondly, we wanted to produce the festival at a low cost, demonstrating that partnership work can save money. We are incredibly fortunate that so many organizations support the festival to provide a venue and potential individual events. These new relationships with organisations and others, nothing in the Scotland, Tracy Scotland, Royal County Garden, the Arctic and Glasgow and the Rabbit University will continue to provide creative ideas to invigorate powerful and fun to deliver education in Scotland and provide the college sector with new possibilities and opportunities for partners to work with. Thirdly, we wanted to model a different approach with ideas and events being produced by individuals and organisations who thought we had a dangerous idea and wanted to share. This felt that the festival would be unique in that it could be for one week in June in different cities across Scotland, leaving a variety of venues not normally considered and hosted with a variety of partners. For example, the philosophy conference was hosted in the CC and the captain of our modern book and the new people in Glasgow. Fourthly, we wanted to generate a range of ideas to take forward in the final year and establish that the people who are passionate about education and beyond. For long, from 11 to 3, after Sunday, shifting the access, we jointly posted with the National Museum of Scotland. We wanted to stimulate people's imagination by recognizing the incredible innovation, risk taking, and creativity of the past, the dangerous ideas that once been so challenging and modifying in the day. The museum, which is filled with historical examples of dangerous ideas, was a perfect place to see the important role that dangerous ideas have played in Scottish life, and we're delighted that the museum wanted to launch its festival with us. The launch also gave us speakers an opportunity to challenge their thinking for their dangerous ideas. The speakers were Ian Fennett, head teacher at Dublin High School, Carl Cole, chief executive, thanks to consequence and well being, Robin Harper, president in the US Scotland, and Professor Graham Donaldson, University of Glasgow, and former Oakland Senior Chief Inspector. All the speakers urged us to question orthodoxy and think learning as a part of education policy and practice. We were incredibly fortunate that education consultant David Cameron championed the festival and set the tone of his final speech. He said, We are a really interesting field in Scotland generally and in Scottish education in particular. We have the opportunity to do so much and more and do things in different ways and take different approaches. And one of the major risks we face is that every single possibility of change will be skimmed by the voices of caution. My contention is that education and reform in Scotland at all levels is ambitious in conception and compromise and implementation. We begin with a vision of what might be possible and we think to the reality of what currently is possible. We have a media that champions fear rather than hope. We complete, these are dangerous times, times of dangerous ideas, 
don't let the devil have all the good things, and don't let that other day of family be the things you're going to do. The Lord spoke of an incredible interactive group with well over 500 people participating in the Keeping, webinars, research, and enterprise days, outdoor learning, theatre, volunteering, and numerous discussions, debates, and much more. The grand finale is the important exchange of ideas that we need to leave. We provide a completely new experience of individuals and organizations holding their dangers to the door and an option at the end to stop these causes of being successful in the dangers to the door and to be a participant. Some of the contributors were. He rather than the best of who explored more people than ever for a course of education, examining how technology can make education from the top university to more possible. Matthew Sarri is a student from college who owns a subscription to the photography and flat the current scientific system communication from the written world to multi modal images on screen. The outward bound of who challenge us to build out technology for 24 hours and transform the lives of many people. The sober consultant who challenge current modern professions which privilege certain spaces and suggest an alternative model to direct competitive marketing. The video organization provides a similar example of excellent literature for life. Here at the Rural Garden from New York, we will find opportunities at Rural Garden in which to empower it to run a huge number of stories from the food community. We encourage the international to discuss how their studio space can be used to translate thinking and understanding into the root stuff which can change the world. The winners of the most dangerous ideas were visible fiction, a field department who worked with schools and colleges to immerse the pursuit in daily danger, adventure and conflict, to stimulate creativity and ideas, embedding the ethos and principles of curriculum for action. An Edinburgh Development Group and AGP Zoos who aim to explore methods of deeper community connection in their work with disabled people. This is a highly interactive learning day which has already led to participants in the context and developing their way of reflection. Participant Tom Kirby from Common Good Edinburgh summed the day up with his blog. The event includes possibility and imagination about what education could be and how new ideas can be connected to what they already exist. These ideas are exciting. We may want to vote, but without the form of danger, we face a much greater risk that your education system gets stuck and does not serve our children and society as much as we need to. So, what have you learned? Well, the feedback has been excellent, but the huge appreciation being given to the different approaches and opportunities to discuss the topics of education and debate how you can do things differently. Here's some examples of feedback from participants. This is exactly the kind of thinking that this education needs at this time. Just what we need is just a challenging, creative, and different in the end of danger. It was good to have small events in different cities and not to have to listen to the content of the real thing. I thought it was a great concept to take forward and one which needed to be addressed. Doing such kinds of change not only for culture and well for the colleges, but it wasn't easy to convince people to look at things differently. I admire those who are willing to stick their heads about the concept to demonstrate and discuss the ideas of education. It was an absolute joy to spend time among creative, forward thinking people, thoughtful dreaming about a can do attitude, something which is essential for our curriculum survival. The atmosphere was electric. I loved every minute when we talked about nothing else then. And the next time, and more importantly, how do we take the ideas forward and make them happen? It's important to thought about something and need to learn to raise the changes that are happening to what they like to find out. To ensure that these ideas don't teach a new idea, Scott and Paul did the organizing of the day of ideas and practice for change to ensure that ideas become reality. This day will also follow the following of the next year's festival. So what do you learn in terms of development? Well, firstly, participants want more danger, more ideas, and more events to be held in more locations. Secondly, they want more opportunities to debate and discuss with policy makers and leaders in education. Thirdly, they want more joint events with education Scotland and other elementary elements. And fourthly, they want opportunities to put these ideas in action. We intend to rally these challenges and hope to collaborate with more of our partners in education, ensuring that we reach out to all of those who are pushing for this education. Everyone who prepares to step up to the top of the topic. For more information, 
the 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 the